In today's video, I'll be taking a look at the ProDesk Sim Honeycomb Bravo Throttle Modifications. I've got two of them to showcase today, the Airbus A320 and the Boeing 737. You may wonder what on earth I'm talking about, but pretty much, this is a rather nice bit of hardware you can add to your Bravo Throttle Quadrant to make it look more like a specific aircraft type. ProDesk Sim do dozens of them, but we're showcasing two today that did send me them as media copies but indeed this is my own opinion so let's open this box and take a look at the ProDesk Sim Honeycomb Bravo throttle modifications. Okay so as you can see on the screen that this is not your normal Bravo throttle quadrant indeed I'm using the ProDesk Sim 737 modification here and as we swap over to this variant as you can see it's the wonderful Airbus A320. What do you get in these kits? Well as I open the Boeing one up you can see we get some new throttle heads I don't really know what to call them and of course we get secondary flight controls um, such as the flap lever and the speed brake lever including detents as well which are really fun to install quite satisfying here's the airbus one it's also a very similar product now to install it it is ridiculously easy we literally take uh, the bravo commercial levers unscrew a single screw and then pop the prodesk sim throttle top on before putting the screw back in nice and tight and that's it really you're pretty much set up now you can literally plug and play this into your Bravo Throttle Quadrant as you can see here as we set up the Bravo Throttle Quadrant with the Boeing 737 version. Have a listen to these detents as well. So that is incredibly satisfying, I cannot lie. Really easy to install and that also means it's really easy to uninstall and swap around. So no need to worry about anything like that. I do think it looks good. Of course it doesn't fit in 100% because the colours do contrast. That being said, as we take it apart, let's swap over to the Airbus version. It's ridiculously easy. Uh, what do you prefer? Do you prefer the 737 variant or the A320? I'm quite undecided. Um, having a test with this, in the 737 on the sim I really do like the spring loaded flaps and the detents there they are just so satisfying and uh, having been in a 737 sim doesn't feel too dissimilar so that's pretty good going note there is a slight delay that's just the PMDG uh, 737 and of course those throttles look good but rather annoyingly there is no auto throttle disconnect button so do bear that in mind um, sadly no working buttons on the side of this throttle the speed brake lever as well has slightly smaller detents but they are noticeable and swapping over to the Airbus A320 I have to say in terms of functionality I prefer this one because of course we've got the inbuilt detents as you can hear in the background now um, as I almost um, go full power with the brakes on. Of course do notice there is no zero detent here which is a bit annoying you just have to rely on the Bravo throttle quadrant for that one. The only thing I would wish for here is the ability to cover the unused uh, throttle connection points they do look a bit ugly there but that being said <laughs> Again, the spring-loaded flap system does win it for me. It's so satisfying to use. So ProDesk Sim, would I recommend it? Well, it's important to bear in mind that these are rather expensive. Depending on the aircraft type you go for, these range anywhere between 50 to 70 UK pounds. There is a wide array of aircraft available on the internet by ProDesk Sim. And indeed, seeing as they ship from America, it's a bit more expensive for us Brits and Europeans. That being said, it re is really a well-built product that works well and does improve the realism in your sim and, of course, brings an added fun factor into it. So, if that's worth it for you, then I would recommend checking it out. Of course, the standard thing does apply whenever you're upgrading a flight sim setup. If there's something you would prioritise, um, such as, you know, a brand new yoke, or indeed um, a new set of rudder pedals or maybe you haven't got any then I'd always say go for that sort of thing first but what ProDesk Sim offer here is a really unique product at a relatively affordable price um, it's, it's expensive for a bit of plastic yes but it is all custom made and of course flow simulator uh, flow simulation being a niche market does normally entail high prices so I guess we sort of have to come and get used to that 
Would I recommend it? If you're looking for a certain aircraft type, definitely give it a go. If you fly a 737 all the time, uh, or an A320, or whatever, they do 757, 747s, um, numerous Airbus aircraft, and of course, general aviation and private jets, then I'd say give it a go. It is great fun. Okay guys, so there we have it. I think this has been a really interesting product to review and showcase. Certainly sturdy and well made, but it comes at a very expensive price. If that can come down, I've got no complaints about this product. On that note, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. It's been a pleasure to have you here today. I'll see you all very soon on another Pilot Stud video. Happy flying and bye bye.